it to us. I'm Jonas. And I'm T here, T and John. I like the explosive one. This is 10 minutes or less. Let's start the timer. But ding. TNT, have you ever uh, been on a dating app and uh, lot, stood up a young lady? Like you told me you wanted to hang out and then just like not went to the date at all? No. No? Okay. So, I'll me say neither. I'm going to do I something, done. I do it. No, right, right. I mean, like, I'm Integrity. trying to think. I have, let's see. Like, usually, even if I set up a date, I keep it. I'm sure I've had to cancel for some reason came up. Like, you know, something came up or I had to go do, you know, whatever. But I did communicate, like, hey. I guess with me, it's like I had, I used to have a friend who was very flaky. And it used to piss me and the rest of our friends off a lot. Because it was like, all right, we planned something. It's like three hours till it's about to happen. Of course, this motherfucker is going to call and flake out. He's going to be like, oh, I can't make it. It's like, he always does that. So it became important to me to never flake. Yeah, I, I don't like that either, man. I, I, if I say I'm going to do something, yeah, unless something beyond my control comes up, mm-hmm. I'm going to go do it, right? Then, then that's why I'm cautious about what I say, I'm a, what I'm going to do and what I'm not. And I know you're the that same part, way. That <laughs> part, yes. Like, I know, I'll ask you all the time, hey, this weekend we're all going to do this, you want to go? Mm-hmm. You're like, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say yes or no until, I, until I'm good and ready and right, to be right. committed. And, and there's been many a times where you never gave me an answer, but I, I'll be like, I'm leaving at seven if you want to go. And then 6.45, your ass walks out. You're like, okay, I'm <laughs> Fully like, dressed. I'm like, <laughs> Fully right. dressed. You came out before I left the house. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so I saw this article. I don't know if you saw this. There was a lady who was stood up by a guy on Tinder, maybe. I don't know what he said. So she decides to sue him for $10,000 for lying to her. Did you see this? So No, no. So they go to court, and it's like an online Zoom court, right? And, uh, and so this guy, he's just he, like in the picture in this article, he's like sitting here like this. Cause he's just like, why the hell am I here? Right. I didn't do anything. I just told her I was going to go out with her and, and didn't show up or whatever. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. but the, I guess the funny part about this is, so they're in the, they're in the, they're in the zoom call. I saw this video clip and the, and the judge is talking and she's like, da, 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 da. well, he perjured, he perjured, he per-. she keeps saying he perjured. And the judge is like, Lady, do you know what perjury even is? And Obviously she's like, not. she's like, oh, of course I do. Da, da, okay. da, da, da. And, and he starts going, ma'am, ma'am, quit insulting my intelligence. I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> Are we free to go? Are we free to go? Are we yeah. free to go? Like yeah. to this yeah. judge, and he's just like. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, obviously yeah. the man did I not perjure. That, I saw that video. I thought that was the one. I thought that was the same. Or was this a different case? There was one case where the woman was suing the man because the date was so bad that she was like, I'm, I'm suing him for emotional distress. All right. Well, there was another one where the woman was trying to sue the man because the date was so bad that he was actually was actually suing him for emotional distress. Because the date was that bad. And it's like, can you really sue a person over a bad day? Honestly, Jonas, I'm convinced that people are insane. They oh, are yeah. absolutely I, I insane. Think, I think the you pandemic can't sue has made for being people stood very up. insane. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And it's I think like. It was, go ahead. What? It's like, what, what are you going to do? You're going to take me to court. The judge is going to find me innocent. Then what? I got to sue you for the, for the time and the money that I had to put into going to court. Because that's what it's going to cost. That's what it's going to yeah. take time and money yeah i think you know i think people were always a little off balance right but i think like i think the time that covid made people spend isolated like they say solitary confinement makes people go crazy so i think like that you know a lot of people didn't uh isolate as much as they maybe should have or whatever but i think everyone at a base level isolated some oh and i think and i think that's enough to take the crazy over the edge yeah, like, and, it, but to that level of being that litigious is just absolutely insane. That it's like the COVID coupled with like the recent economical changes that we've been forced to go through. It's like these people are getting desperate, and they're like, "I need." And believe me, Jonas, I wish some. Oh my God, Jonas! Every time I walk across the street, I hope somebody hits me. Every <laughs> time. <laughs> Please let me have some sort of tragedy so I can make some money. Exactly. Look, I will take not walking for six months in therapy if I can get that check. All right? Is that wrong? I never got to work again. Besides the fact that I'm disabled and can't walk properly. Am I wrong here? (laughs) 
Am I wrong? I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't wish negativity upon myself. So uh, I'm, I'm not wishing negativity upon myself. You just myself. said I wish every time I walk across the street. <laughs> all right, I was just I was putting a little sauce on for the video. All right, I, know, I don't I honestly know. do that. I but. got no, no, but I but I feel you. It's like if something. Here's the thing. Here's why I look at it. I guess if something bad's gonna happen to me, something bad's gonna happen to me. And if it's that bad, hopefully I can get paid from it. Like, <laughs> like. I don't want to be in a car accident, right? Like, but no. I hope if I am, that I don't die, and that I can be get helpful. paid out of it, and I can get paid from it, right? Like, you know, like because it's gonna suck either way. It's gonna happen either way. That's all you can you know, ask. So it's like, it's like, but yeah, and, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm necessarily walking around looking for a motherfucker to sue, but you, you, I, you know, I'm an opportunist. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely oh, yeah, be an opportunist a, uh, about it to a certain level. I saw a thing. I think it was today. I saw it on Reddit, and it was like, if you <laughs> do, it, it was like one of those life pro tips, and it was somebody saying like, don't ever fight unless it's like you're running for your life, because the all the, the nothing, almost nothing positive comes out from getting into a physical fight. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like you know, there's – because they were like, oh, you see all these fight videos on the internet, ha, ha, ha. And then what they don't show you is the cops getting involved, people being maimed, you potentially going to jail because you swung on somebody once and almost killed them or did do kill them because they fall and hit their head and, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's like once you're out of school – like even in school, it's stupid. But, like, once you're a grown person, <laughs> like – I couldn't even think of what it would take in public for me to like throw down with a person. Oh, like I would rather just walk away and be like, you, you F and P get out of here. You be like, yeah. fine. You guess what? I'm not fucked up or in jail. And see, and that's, that's because that's because Jonas were old and washed and we don't want to do that stuff. <laughs> right. We're not like young our, buck looking to prove it, ourselves to the herd. Apparent, apparently our pride doesn't matter anymore to us or to the rest of the world. So, you know, yeah. What if but, uh, uh, I, don't I don't know, know, man? I get mad. I do get mad, um, but not mad enough to like in initiate a fight. But definitely mad enough where if it were initiated, I would fight back. Um. So oh, yeah, yeah I'm I don't. I don't if know. Someone swings on me and like I'm trying to run away and they tackle me. Like I'm gonna try to fight you off. But like if it comes down to they're just talking ish in my face and like do it, oh, do yeah, something, yeah. do something. I'm gonna like, get out of here. You do dude, something. Bye. Put a hand on me, up, oh, hands on me, assault, <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit the ground, and I'm gonna cry, and then I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> you're on the ground like you're dialing nine one one. Nine one one. Yeah, like you just grab, you just grab my shirt. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Help me. Mama, I'm coming. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Dude, it's it's uh it, it's just it's wild out here. The stuff that people are doing and like just i think the amount of like raw aggression that's out there anymore too the, people are just like they're ready to like y you know it's you know i think i heard something too and, it, and i guess i didn't really think about it this way but like you know that whole like karen culture right and like whatever mm -hmm. it's like i feel like now more than ever people are so ready to mind everybody else's business it's like when i go out I just mind my own damn business. Like, unless you're like, somebody's like beating their girlfriend in public, like, it ain't my business to deal with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and, but people are ready so fast to be like, why are you doing that? You shouldn't be doing this. Da 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 da. Like, everyone just wants to get in everybody else's fucking business. Like, it has a lot to do with people imposing their morals on other people. And it goes both ways when I'm talking, at least like a lot of people are kind of hearing the political overtones of this and they're like, yeah, it's political. But uh, it, it, it goes both ways when it comes to imposing your ideals on others or your morals or your values on other people. And nobody has the same values, no culture, nobody does. So for the most right. part, just let people fucking be live their lives the way they want to live it and the best thing you could do is not impose on other people's lives with your morals and not expect other people to impose their morals onto you so right. whether you believe right. women should be able to have access to certain forms of health care or not does it affect you no shut the fuck up 
Right. Right. Exactly. And it's the same thing. And then I guess the the other side of that coin is it's like the people who are on one side or the other, like will, will talk themselves to death trying to convince someone to change their yeah, mind. Yeah. And it's like, you ain't changing nobody's mind, man. Yeah. Like they believe what they believe and that's why they believe it. Like it ain't, it's like, is it really that important to you to convince this person that, they, that they're wrong? See the people that try to impose their will on other people have the complex of not having any control in their lives and they try to take that out on other aspects of their lives because they lack that amount of control they don't you don't even have control over your own emotions if you're getting mad at the guy uh next to you not standing up for the national anthem you don't have control over your emotions because guess what you stand for it if it means that much lead by example and if it doesn't affect you shut the fuck up <laughs> I mean, my, that's my rule of thumb about most things. Is like, is it hurting me or anyone else? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to crazytime.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, we out.